It is general knowledge that there's a corruption problem in Nigeria, which some argue is stalling the projected growth of the country. Nigeria's anti-corruption efforts have increased exponentially over the last two decades as the country has transitioned from the grip of a military kleptocracy to civilian rule. Yet, in many respects, this progress has been illusory. In the fight against corruption, the government has set up several agencies and commissions. When President Muhammad Buhari was campaigning for office, before the 2015 election, he promised Nigerians that if elected, he's going to fight corruption, he will fight uh, insecurity, and he will improve the economy. Without fighting corruption, you cannot improve security, you cannot improve the economy. And when he was elected as a fulfillment of the campaign promise, he began to act. So he set up the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption in August 2015. Any assessment of Nigeria's anti-corruption track record over the last 20 years must give a balanced account of its gains and failures and flag those challenges that remain unaddressed. From the perspective of the MacArthur Foundation, um, we were looking at an institution that will be able to be like supporting the supply side of the anti-corruption activities. So we are looking for uh, an intermediary organization that will be able to play the role of facilitating the support that we want to give. The CDD actually secured a grant from the MacArthur Foundation towards the end of 2018. And this grant had a focus on strengthening the institutional capacity of the anti-corruption agencies in Nigeria. A decision was taken to support these agencies to build their capacities, to improve their technology base, to uh, ensure that they synergize their operations, and um, also to make sure that uh, uh, they work better with their international partners. In its bid to consolidate and institutionalize the efficiency, operational effectiveness, and collaboration of national and subnational anti corruption agencies, CDD selected the following for intervention Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Special Control Unit on Money Laundering, SCOMO, a unit under EFCC. Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC. Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, NFIU. Office of the Auditor General for the Federation, OAUGF. Technical Unit on Governance and Anti-Corruption Reforms, TSUGA. Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, PAKAK. So what the CDD did was to sit down as a collective with the agencies and say, let us hear what are your burning needs. Yes, we also don't have unlimited resources. We can now see from your own burning needs. And they also ask them, put them as a matter of priority going down, number one to 10. So the agencies did that. So CDD now zeroed in on things that were of great relevance to the agencies. The CDD paid 40,000 US dollars for us to renew and also upgrade our uh, software application, which is the GoML. The Nigerian FIU was the first FIU in the whole world, you know, to um, deploy the GoML uh, software application for our analysis and also for receiving reports from the reporting entities. The CDD has uh, supported ICPC in five uh, critical areas. Uh, the first is in the, uh, the deployment of electronic data management si uh, system, EDM EDMS. The essence of uh, the EDMS is to enable the Commission to have electronic versions 
of its legacy files, its operational files, prosecution, investigation files. The greatest thing that has happened within my tenure is knowing CDD and the, the, the interface and the support. To be very honest with you, I, I saw the intervention as uh, designed by God to actualize the dream that I had for this office. As the Auditor General Office started this process, it was a good thing that CDD supported. We have uh, this 11th generation uh, all-in-one desktops, about 10 of them. And uh, we also have uh, the AC system, uh, we have fire control system. You can see this uh, chair, this uh, courtesy of uh, CDD and of course uh, the display uh, board. Let me also sh uh, show you some other things here in the archive. This is our repository. This is a repository where we keep the data, uh, the, sort of the strong room. So this is a fireproof cabinet. You can see the microscope uh, in there for closer examination of uh, forensic evidence. Right now, this is genuine because uh, you can see the line is clean, uh, straight, and you can see the numbering is quite uh, standard. Technology is at the heart of anti-corruption work now. So every support that is given to an anti-corruption agency to up its ante in, anti in ICT, it's a mileage. Under the Nigerian Anti-Corruption Agency's Strengthening Initiative Project, NACASIP, the CZD through this project, uh, which was funded by the MacArthur Foundation, provided interventions to the FCC, and those interventions were targeted at strengthening the commission and enhancing the capacity of its officers with the mandate uh, of the commission, uh, which is to fight all forms of economic and financial crimes. Previously, you have to go to SCUMU to register. They even had a backlog of over 15,000 applications unprocessed. With the support of CDD and MacArthur to the SCUMU, the, the whole process of registration went online. And you could now secure a registration certificate within 24, 48 hours, as the case may be, once you have uploaded all the requisite de documentation that is needed. As part of capacity building, selected members of some of these organizations were trained on monitoring and evaluation, a tool that monitors effective use of resources. We have benefited from CDD in two folds, training and capacity building. CDD have supported the implementation of the National Anti-Corruption Strategy and as such have developed the skills and the manpower of the members of the Monitoring Evaluation Committee to be able to monitor and evaluate anti-corruption initiatives that propelled or support the implementation of the NACS document. The training I attended, which was organized by the Center for Democracy and Development and held in Calabar, at Transcorp Hilton Hotel Calabar, had helped a lot in my day-to-day -day activities. As a result of that training, we synergized more with government agencies like never before. So the relevance of the training cannot be overemphasized. I would have been more happier if such training can even come up because so far so good. It has really widened up our scope in the collection of data for effective use of the job. Take also the issue of communication. The uh, CDD MacArthur Foundation trained these agencies on communication. You know, uh, messaging is key in anti-corruption. You, you need to put out the right message. You, you need to structure the message. And that is one thing which also this, this, this project also brought to bear. I'll just like to showcase two of the knowledge products that we were able to um, accomplish. 
um, under the NACASI project working with CDD. Uh, first of all is uh, we have here the mapping and scoping survey of anti-corruption and governance initiatives in public finance management systems in Nigeria. Um, this particular knowledge product covers the federal level as well as the 36 states of the Federation. The second um, knowledge product we have here is um, the explanatory manual on the code of conduct for public officers. This was done in collaboration with the Code of Conduct Bureau um, under the NACASIP uh, project. Our own capacity buildings and trainings and workshops and conferences that we've done this year, CDD has been part of support for us to bring people together and have discussions of which recommendations from such workshops and conferences from advisories that we give to the government, which we are very, very appreciative of. CDD adopted needs-based approach in supporting these agencies. The results are outstanding. CDD um, allowed the agencies to drive the projects while they supervise very closely, and I think that was a wonderful um, uh, strategy. All this support from CDD, you know, uh, give us an impetus to perform better. This forensic lab, with uh, CDD support and what the general office provided, I can say is the best so far. Best audit of this uh, forensic lab in Africa. As an analyst in 2006 or 2007, when I went to query, I'll, I'll put on my system and then leave it to run overnight. And when I come in the morning, I'll check the results. But with the GoML now, I can do that in two seconds. I put it and query either person, entity, uh, account, whatever I want to query, in two seconds I get my result. So you can see the importance of the GoML software to the, uh, the FIU. To a large extent, we've learned a lot. Um, from the monitoring and evaluation um, trainings. It has been quite helpful. Helpful to TUGA, helpful to the NACS m and &E committee um, because we've been able to come up with a proper plan on how we um, want to proceed uh, in terms of monitoring and evaluation of the NACS as well as our day-to-day -day activities at the level of TUGA. When it comes to EFCC again, one thing that we've been able to help them in achieving is the uh, EFCC cyber lab itself and the training school, which are very important components. With supplying them with state of heart infrastructure, it's not just in place, they've also been able to sign a partnership with the Amadubelo University, offering certificated courses, and they have used that facility to train other institution from across West Africa. So they are not just benefiting. Individuals are able to benefit, but even other countries are benefiting from these facilities. We at least are satisfied with the work that uh, CDD has done in terms of uh, ensuring that the resources are effectively and efficiently managed, uh, in trying to ensure that the, um, the results from the work that the, the sub-grantees are doing uh, in in, in uh, coterminous with what some of the expectations that the foundation has in terms of what we want them to do in other things. The fundamental thing really for us at the CDD is that we are thankful that we continue to have this kind of opportunity to impart in the development of our own country, hoping that it will lead to immediate gains in the lives of an average Nigerian. Operational effectiveness and efficiency have been improved. Capacities have been built. There is better cooperation among anti-corruption agencies, but there is room for more intervention. More can be achieved with further support. CDD delivered to us where we need it. It's on the spot and right on point. To be very honest, we, we, we are grateful knowing CDD. We would wish to use this opportunity to recognize the Center for Democracy and Development for its untiring and continuous coordination and uh, programming 
of the Nakasi project leading to this very, very successful uh, conclusion. We are really grateful to CDD for all the support they have given and we are hoping for more support.